watch this. What's up guys, Sean here from SRKCycles.com and we have a, a treat. This is a 2016 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. And I'm pumped, I'm just putting on my gloves. You guys know that I'm rocking different gloves because I'm showing off the uh, our uh, 508 Cruiser style line with Kevlar and our 507 Tactical style protected palm with uh, super fiber. If you guys are interested in these gloves, check out our on the link below. We are selling them. No, we're pre we're, we're taking pre-orders right now. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, a link will be below either to get buy them or pre-order. All right, so this is a 2016 Harley Davidson, and this is the year before. This is, I think, this is the last year of the uh, of 103, which I love the 103. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let me show you guys something crazy about this bike. I didn't even know this was a thing until. Okay, first of all, notice the handlebars. These handlebars can adjust this way and pivot this way so you can give it whatever you want to notice that seat this is the Harley Davidson road Zeppelin seat if you come over here it's got these buttons on here you see that it's a air it's got airbags inside the seat to adjust everything it is sick this is a crazy seat this guy's got a lot of cool uh, cool modifications on it He's got the backrest, this thing is 39,000 miles. Really, really close to tripping over to 40,000 miles. And I forgot how much I love the Harley Davidson Road, Road Glide. Now something I didn't, know, maybe I didn't notice it, but I don't think it was there. On the older Road Glides, you didn't have this passage. You see that, uh, that big passage way down there for the air to come in? You also, you see that? You can block or stop it. So I was actually, and you, you don't get, I don't get this much wind coming and hitting me as I do. Look how, look how beautiful the sky is. Amen. Let me get back to that. Guys, words of wisdom. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times, but a brother is born for times of adversity. So I'm actually getting much more air and wind hitting me than I would on a uh, on an ultra uh, ultra classic or a street glide or ultra limited. Mainly because those two things right there. Now they they all have uh, you know the things a uh, little vent inside the the windshield, but I'm getting a lot of wind from down here, which is really cool. Now I wonder. I don't know this for a fact. I'm sure you can. I wonder if you can close that. I probably should have. I should have figured that out before, but I'm pretty sure you can close that if you don't want it because it's nice and cold. That's that's always been my big uh, my big issue with these big touring bikes when it's just brutally hot outside and you want something hitting, you want some wind hitting you, giving you some relief. You don't get as much as you can, which is why I always like the Road King. But I actually don't feel that way when I was riding this bike. I'm riding this bike a little bit and really really enjoying it. Radio's awesome, navigation, GPS, all that stuff. Um, that's all cool. Control the buttons with here, on my fingers. I've also been really impressed with how uh, how low you can go with this bike. Ah, uh, well, let, let's we'll get a chance to bust that out a little bit, and I'll I'll try to lean down and lean down and show you if I can. Now I've always liked the 103 motor. I thought it was just a good upgrade from the 96. And I think it's incredibly reliable. And I've seen a bunch. Um five or six. This is just ones that like I've I've personally like have come through my dealership that I've personally ridden. I know there's tons more. The floorboards on this thing are so much higher than um, than on the older Harleys. I have not drug floorboards on this thing 
the entire time I've had it. And I've been getting to a situation, where, you know, I'm getting taking turns where I'm like, I'm pretty low. I should have been, I should have been dragging at this point. Nothing. So pretty, uh, pretty impressed with that. Let's take a. Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever finished my thing, but I, I've seen so many um, Harley Davidsons with the 103 do well over a hundred thousand miles. A handful in the 90,000 miles, and these are all without a rebuild. Now, obviously, if you're gonna do that kind of miles, you gotta maintain it. But obviously, the guy who owned this bike, if he's gonna put $900 into a seat, however much it costs to get these handlebars, hey, you're not not gonna maintain it. Road glides are not cheap, but they are tons of fun. A lot of guys say they're a little better for big guys. This one, the way it's currently configured with the handlebars, all you have to do is adjust them out more. Um, and then the backrest, it does feel a little, it feels a little cramped, but I don't mind it. Um, but like I said, all those things are changeable. Just, you know, a couple hand tools, adjust them. These handlebars are adjustable and they are super cool and I love, I'm crazy about these grips. If you guys remember before, the older, the older model uh, Rogue Glide, these things, these compartments will open, up, will open up like this. It was odd. Now they open from the bottom. I think that makes more sense. Up here, we will, uh, we'll try to get on a little bit. Now, something about this specific bike, I do when I when I grab a lot of front brake, I do feel I do feel a minor pulsating. It's not like rawr, rawr, you know, it's not real bad, but I, I do I do feel like there is a slight warp in the front rotor. So let me just see if I can. It's it's one of those things you would almost you might also you might almost confuse it with just the road, but uh, I think it's there. You might not be, you might not notice it. And if you're a guy that uses a lot more rear or uses a lot of rear or any rear. Then you definitely might not notice it. Man, I like this bike. Personally, this is probably the one of the most relaxed stance. Just the way he has the handlebars, the way he has the floorboard or the floorboards, the seat and This thing is a sport bike. Just the way it handles is awesome. I mean, on, on, on when I first started riding Harleys, I would just pull out of the driveway, just crack, crack, you know, just grinding. That was the worst. That was the worst uh, grinding imitation. Grinding floorboards just right away. The first turn I would take. I'm here. I'll, I'll take the. Uh, I'll take the turn into the. Uh, into the dealership real uh real low too i have not been able to drag floorboards on this and what why i'm telling you that is just because i think that they changed something they they moved them up or they changed the ergonomics or something that you're not you're not dragging floorboards like you used to this bike can get a little bit lower you, you feel more comfortable getting this thing more lower taking corners i know i do Check it. Hold up. If I get there after this car, watch me low side this thing. And then watch this. This is pretty low. Watch this. Look how low that is. Look how low that is. Look how low that is. Ugh. I'm on like 45 degrees still. Not even close. All right, guys, that wraps it up. I am really... I should grab the suit and go try to drag some knee. Uh, really enjoying this bike. This thing is at 39. 39.979. It's 20 miles. 21 miles from rolling over to 40,000. This thing has 
It's a lot of life left in it. Uh, it's an amazing bike, killer price. Check it out on srkcycles.com. Also, check out bikesandbeers.com. That's it. All these are just click on the link below. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like that video and you want to see more of them, click on the subscribe button. And if you guys didn't know, we also have a motorcycle dealership, srkcycles.com. We sell and ship bikes all over the country. We have one of the largest inventories in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, which probably means nothing to you because you probably don't live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. But we have a decent amount of bikes. So check out the uh, first link on the bottom is the website, SRK Cycles. And uh, we'll see you guys later.